HDTV with the Lingworth and Gregory here with Danny Ward. Danny, thanks for joining us. Uh, first of all, congratulations for Saturday. What was your first West Yorkshire derby like? Yeah, it's the same as, as most derbies, really. It's intense, obviously, and not so much. Maybe the game itself maybe didn't look as intense, but leading up to it, you know how much it means to, to our fans and obviously their fans. So it was by hook or by crook. It doesn't matter what, how you win in a derby. It's as long as you get the, the win. A different type of derby in a lot of ways. Um, you felt like we had a, a, a modicum of control over the game throughout the 90 minutes and in the end got the result that, that, that a good controlled performance probably warranted. Yeah, it was pleasing, especially from a defensive view, to get another clean sheet. But I think as a unit, you know, the whole the whole team worked hard and I feel as though they didn't really threaten us as much as what we'd obviously expect to in, in a derby game. But, um, but now the boys handled the occasion well, especially uh, from a defensive side. I know last time we talked you were happy with how things were going but you said you, you wanted that clean sheet you've now got two in a, in a row so you must be absolutely delighted Yeah I mean keepers you know we it's like scoring a goal for us getting a clean sheet at the end of the day so we people may judge us on them you know especially people from afar but um, I think we've they've been well deserved the last couple of games and, and maybe we could have got a, a couple more you know earlier in the season maybe a bit of luck here and there or the odd mistake but um, I think it feels as though we've rectified that in the last two games and hopefully we can kick on now and get a few more that's led to us having the joint best defensive record in the Skybet Championship six games in, which I can tell you from previous seasons gone by since we got promoted to the Championship is a big improvement on that front. What do you put that down to and what do you think the defensive solidarity has come from? Uh, I think we've got a good mix of, 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 um, of youth and experience. Obviously, the, the four lads in front of me have, have been brilliant so far this season, look very settled. You know, that's from Chrissy Lowe, who's obviously you know young, and then you've got Hoodie, the skipper, who's who's a lot more seasoned. He's he's got a lot of experience, and obviously that uh, that helps us boys at the back. And I think just as a again as an all, overall unit, you know, all eleven players on the pitch at any time, we have a, we have the same idea defensively. We know what we're doing. We're organised, and the gaffer's got to set up a way to defend, which which is working for us at the minute. Different kind of test on Tuesday against Brighton. They've developed a almost signature way of playing over the last few seasons. You know you're going to get a test, and they've got good attacking players. Yeah, well, I feel as though they've done well the last couple of years, and they may be unlucky not to go up last year. Um, well, that's not by any accident. You know, it's like it's no accident us being up at the top of the minute. It's it's a hard league, and, and for any team to finish, especially in the top six, is is a big achievement in itself. So we know what we're coming up against, regardless of of any type of form we've got or they've got. But it's another game for us to uh, to test ourselves and, and we've just got to think about us rather than them. It's a pretty quick turnaround at the moment, but I imagine the games can't come soon enough for everyone in the dressing room at the moment, given how things are going when we go out on the pitch. Yeah, even to be honest, even going away with, with Wales was a bit of a... I still had a bit of doubt in my mind thinking, come on, we, you know, let's, I wish we could have a few more games back here with, with Huddersfield, like you know, we were on such a roll. But obviously it's nice to uh, to show that we've uh, we've still got that, that hunger even after a two-week break. And on a personal and a football level, Danny, how are you finding life at Huddersfield Town? You look right at home, I must say. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I am loving it, to be fair. You know, we've got a great group of, uh, of people around the club. You know, that's players, staff and, and just staff around the place. And uh, I've been made to feel very welcome and I feel as though I've fitted in rather well in, quite quickly. I'm sure you had some expectations about how much you wanted to play and what you think might be achievable here. Is it fair to say we've achieved those expectations early part of the season? Yeah, well, I, I spoke to the manager briefly in the summer. And I spoke to Stu as well, and and what they've what they've said to me about the club in general is obviously a confidential thing. But I mean, whatever they've said, it's it's definitely panned out that way, and it's a great club to be a part of at the minute. Equally, you don't get the feeling anyone's getting carried away with the early season form. Everyone seems to have a good uh, hold on exactly where we are, and, and that there's still a lot of work to be done this season. Yeah, well, obviously, it's it's a nice feeling to be where we are, especially for the fans who, who feel as though from for being round here and, and speaking to the lads who have been here a lot longer. You know, it's something that they've maybe they, they've deserved for their loyalty. Um, I feel as though, it's, especially with, around the, with the players, you know, it's it's obviously a nice it's a nice place to come and work when you when things are going right. But it's um, it's a long season and we're definitely not carried away. Just a final word on the supporters. Um, you obviously come from a from a massive club, Liverpool, with, with really famous support. What do you take on the Huddersfield Town fans, home and away? Because certainly from from my perspective, and they've stepped it up again this this season, along with the players on the pitch. I can't speak highly enough of them, to be honest. You know, especially a stand that would be when we played at the end of the game against Newcastle, where you look up in the, in the heavens and, and there was thousands of Huddersfield fans going absolutely crazy, which is it's brilliant. And I feel as though there's a real bond at the minute between the players and and the fans, and hopefully that can continue for a long time. Danny, good luck tomorrow night. Cheers, mate.